Go get him, baby. Mm. Oh shit, bro. That sticky just destroyed that dog in one shot. Yo, what up, my people? In today's video, I'm bringing you a few different skill damage builds that I've been working with. Me and Oye have been like putting in some time this last week, and we have two different builds we'd like to show you today is basically skill day for us, right? So I have this hardwired set, and I also have another pure skill damage set that I want to introduce both of them to you and uh, break them both down. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it, baby. All right, so here we go. So this was my first build as far as like a skill damage build. I liked it. I was using uh, Seekers and Sticky Bomb. And this was working really good because it was uh, making the enemies move around and spread out. And it was hitting multiple enemies instead of just one. And then the Sticky Bomb, you know, it just does its own work doing 60% uh, more burn damage, 120% duration, and 90% skill haze coming back like super fast. And I, I appreciate and enjoyed these two because I was able to like continuously use them, right? So right here, whenever you use or cancel a skill, your other skill is automatically refreshed and increases total skill damage and repair by 10% for 20 seconds. This can occur every 20 seconds, okay? So that's kind of what you're looking for every 20 seconds. So we're using four pieces here. The two piece is for skill haste. The three piece is for skill damage. And you get skill repair, but we're using it for skill damage right here. And then, of course, you run, you're running with skill damage on every single slot since you don't have to worry about skill haste with this uh, build, right? So this build will help you complete mostly any content, especially if you play passively and intelligently, okay? So th those two things you have to do. If not, it's not going to work, okay? So right here, we could take like status effect if we wanted to roll this off. Or, or anything else, right? Because we don't need skill haste with this build. But if you wanted to leave skill haste, I mean, it wouldn't affect you just in case like your cooldown is is off a little bit. Sometimes you you do have a 20 second cooldown, so that could uh, help with that, right? And uh, I'm going for the Wyvern for the skill damage and uh, explosive damage off China Light. It just makes sense. I use uh, Spike on my Assault Rifle because I like the AR, right? And uh, it gives me 20% skill damage for eight seconds, which works. And then right here we have our little friend our sweet dreams to kill any red or purple enemies or you could use uh perfectly rooted which when you're in cover all skill damage and healing is increased by 30 percent for 15 seconds buff is lost when you exit cover and this can happen every minute so every minute for 15 seconds you could get 30 percent extra damage out of your build right and uh that's it that's simple we're running a technician with it the reason we're running technician is to get that extra skill damage out of the tree and that's what you're going to be working with right so you're going to respect if you come from using the shield you're going to go into skill damage and that's it everything else is going to stay the same you get 15 percent bonus armor while aiming you get a nice little emp nade you get an extra skill tier and uh, you get more damage to drones and stuff like if you wanted to i, I wouldn't suggest it but you could go with like uh one blue and then five yellows since you're running technician and it gives you that extra yellow so you'll be at six yellows and one blue but you know i don't i don't bother too much with that like that but if you wanted to optimize you could all right so the second build that i actually enjoy as a skill player okay so this is another build that we had for like a week or so but uh we put some final touches on it and it feels really good right so of course you're going to be using the same weapons when you're in cover, you get that 30% off the send off. You get this from the technician uh, field research. Also, next one is you're gonna be using the SOCOM for spike, or you could use any weapon if you wanted to. And you could also use anything that gives you a uh, duration to status effect here. So per per perpetuation would work. We're using demolitionist with this. And the reason we're using demolitionist is for the 10% explosive damage, right? And don't forget about your actual grenade launcher, man. It does work. You can uh, shut down dogs and a bunch of other enemies with it. So here, this is the more, like, this is the build I like more personally, right? So I had this perfect chest and I rolled glass cannon onto it. I like it. I don't know if I like it more than skilled, 
but i think i do because i like doing damage okay so damage with my weapon to any ads pulling up to me like any purple or reds because those are usually the ones that get up in your face you could destroy them with your weapon but a glass cannon also applies to all your skills in case you haven't known that we known that for a week or so and uh we're just dropping this video for you guys man so hopefully you like it hopefully this helps you and uh, i'll break down the gear that we're using so i went with three uh china light and the reason i have three is for explosive damage skill haste and status effect okay status effect if you wanted to you didn't have to really worry about with this build but i don't know i like it more than murakami for duration so i'll tell you to stick with uh the three explosive right or the three china light we're only using one wyvern because again we don't really need the status on this build but we rather have skill damage so skill damage and skill haste on every piece that you can rock right right here we're running the china light uh perfect backpack that gives you applying a status effect to an enemy uh increases total skill damage and repair by 20 percent for 30 seconds almost okay for 27 seconds all right right here um also we're gonna run skill damage and you want skill haste we have status effect because we use this on another build to the same chest and right here we have more skill haste and skill damage we're using two hana so skill haste and skill damage you want anything that'll give you skill damage i know it's kind of kind of common sense yo shout out to any creators out there that have made a similar or even this build okay so shout out to anybody that that makes these builds man we don't have that many pieces to choose from like to somebody that's new to the game it might seem like oh there's so much different gear but to like those people that know what they're doing and know what they're talking about man like we don't have that much gear to like choose from especially with the game being changed and talents only being on two pieces instead of like six pieces of gear you know like it's it's really basic and i kind of feel like there are like best in slots at, at this moment you know so it's just your opinion what you want to run but the full breakdown for this skill build is three uh china light two hannah one wyvern mortar turret that's one of the reasons you're using demolitionist and this mortar turret goes ham okay this mortar turret does 90 percent damage you know what i'm saying it gives a uh, damage three million out there you got 10 shots so you can literally spawn trap like npcs when they're coming out i'll give you some gameplay at the end of this video like always and uh, here you have mortar blast radius 50 percent mortars 420 and damage okay and then our second skill is gonna be explosive seeker all right for this build i like explosive seeker since we have that extra explosive damage we're at 3.9 and we could almost spam this like that's how fast it comes back right 60 percent damage and 30 percent radius and that's to uh keep all the targets moving or any target that's rushing you you could just kill them with the seeker and then you could just work on uh killing all the ads in the back with the mortar okay remember you want to stay in cover you want to stay out of the area with this uh with this talent on your chest right you don't want to be in the front with glass cannon you want to be in the back with a skill build okay another thing that i would suggest if you don't want to use a glass cannon i would highly suggest using skilled as a uh, skill kills have a 25 percent chance to reset skill cooldowns okay so you could get that that seeker mind back super fast and yeah hopefully that helped you man i don't write a script so sometimes i stumble on my explanations so i hope you guys uh, understand everything and i read all of your comments man so thank you for the feedback whether it is positive or negative i appreciate you guys watching my videos and i'm gonna keep trying my best to give you guys this content i do have kids there's a lot going on in the world i'm a full-time twitch partner but i'm not gonna make excuses i'm gonna just try to make it work all right love y'all and i'm gonna catch you later peace baby they're working on the game when like, ads so spawn much, you, you know? could just like spawn trap them right especially with everything that's going on they could just be at home just chilling and right here just p positioning and placement that's all it's about and you'll be able to do like massive damage for your team as a skill player and it works really good this thing doing work eh? hey for my canadians down. More enemies. Watch this secret to that work. Ooh, like, yeah. 
I actually enjoyed using uh, the skill build, man. Ah. No We're getting our stuff done today. Oh, yeah. Maybe it'll right, help so even more like we're here with the I, gameplay. Another thing is that your uh, specialist God. weapon is actually going to help you a lot. This is some damage and uh, heroic once again, and you're able to shut down dogs. So don't forget to use those specialists. Okay. Another thing is that high ground is like your friend with this build. And I feel like once you're here, it's beautiful. You're just able to destroy all the enemies. And uh, make sure your, like, positioning is key, man. Like, positioning is everything. So make sure you're positioned oh, yeah, very well. Finish mopping up these assholes and let's see what we can find. Bro, this build is nasty, bro. This build literally is a DPS's dream, dude. Like, imagine having everything super one-shot for you, bro. This is actually disgusting, dude. Look at that shit, bro.